Yo! What is up, everybody? Shannon Lauren Callahan here with the Fender Technique of the Week. So, for those of you that know me, you know that I love playing acoustic guitar. I love discovering and exploring the world of alternate tunings, as well as flashy, shimmery, harmonic goodness. For those of you that don't know me, now you know. So, what better two things for me to talk about today other than alternate tunings and harmonics. And on top of that, I'm using this bad boy, the new Fender Acoustasonic Jazzmaster um, to demonstrate these techniques. I will talk about this guitar more later, but for starters, and in short, it is honestly one of the coolest guitars I've had the pleasure of owning and playing. So the reason that I chose these two techniques to discuss today is not only because I use them on a regular basis, but it's because they're very simple to incorporate into your playing. You don't have to be this advanced guitarist to use alternate tunings and harmonics. There's always been the stigma around harmonics that they are difficult to use. And I think it's just because they look harder than they actually are. It, they sound like they would be hard to use, but they're in actuality, they're, they're not at all. Um, so, let's get started. Today, I am going to be an open F, which consists of F, A, C, F, C, F. It's pretty, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a riff, and I will break it down, and we can talk about it. After the fact. That's where you get the most sound when it comes to playing harmonics. The fifth breath, you get to kind of get it somewhat, but seventh and the twelfth is, is where I usually stay. And it's as simple as, as just resting your finger. And if you look at the placement, it's always kind of right on the line right there. And you're just slightly putting your finger on top of it. You're not holding your finger down like that, obviously. Just you hit the note, you remove your finger. Or if you want to go for more of a muted sound, you just leave your finger on it. So I'm going to play this a little bit slower um, so you can really look and take, take a look at what I'm doing um, with my hand. So it's very simple. Um, it sounds like it would be hard, but it's not. What did we learn from this video? One, 
Alternate tunings are fun. They help spark creativity. They help you discover new chord shapes. They help with your ear training. Use them more often. Two, harmonics are not as hard as everybody claims they are. They're super simple. Anybody can use them. Once you incorporate them into your playing, people are gonna look at you and say, oh my gosh, you're so good. And that's guaranteed. Three, this guitar is awesome. The new Fender Acoustasonic Jazzmaster. Check it out, I highly recommend it. Honestly, hands down, one of the coolest guitars I've ever played. Four, download Fender Tune. It's incredible. I've been using it constantly. It gives you access to a catalog of chords, alternate tunings, scales to practice to, beats, a metronome. It's the real deal. Check it out. And last but not least, I think I'm on number five. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. If you feel so inclined to learn the riff, tag me on socials, tag Fender. And most importantly, have fun and happy practicing.